Okay, welcome Boulevard Club members to the Cadu basement. Uh, Coach Cadu here, Coach Stefan, or AKA Coach Banana. This is my son Tristan, Coach Cadu Jr. possibly for yeah, today. That, that works. works. Okay, so we're gonna do some, some skills, obviously specifically to badminton, because we are holding a badminton rack in a confined space. Um, if you can manage in this space, you can pretty much manage in all spaces where there's a ceiling height challenges. So setting up an actual five foot balance that may not be an opportunity where we don't have enough, uh, enough width. So we'll use the racket to do some balance skills that could be transferable to yeah. possibly tennis or hockey or maybe even baseball. We'll kind of go through those at the same time. We're going to cover so, passing, uh, passing, shooting, big. And to and finish it off with some deking. Nice, which this gentleman here is a deking expert in hockey. Yes, I well, am. Let's see what he can do with the badminton racket. Are yep. we ready for some yeah, passing? Do, yep. Let's some do some passing. passing first. So we're going to start with, this is a good space here. We're going to start with some forehand passing. Now let's kind of just address the different progressions. So if you were a kid that was three or four or five, which you are not, obviously, um, we would start at a very short distance. All right, go ahead. So really important that our grip's nice and loose. And what we're gonna to try to do here is have our strings facing the target for as long as we can. We call this lengthening the hitting zone, which again, for all racket sports is fairly common knowledge. And we're gonna develop having this nice control. Now again, this is plenty of distance for young kids, okay? As we get into like kind of age three and five or fundamentals group, as we get into the age six to eight, Again, it's kind of staying consistent with our long-term athlete development here. Age six to eight, we start to increase the pace and the distance of the shot. Okay, nice and relaxed. Again, we want the wrist laid back so that later on we have the ability to last second kind of accelerate for our shot or for any of the racket skills that we're doing. Okay, okay again, now you can the, continue to increase the distance. Yeah, now nine to 12. Ages nine to 12, our skill development group. Now we're gonna get into passing the ball with a bounce to start with. Okay, here we go, nice bounce catch it accept the shot like you're yeah good you're catching a ball with a baseball glove probably easy to do this with a sideways position okay back and forth this is too easy for Tristan so now we're going to take away the bounce are you ready yeah very similar to catching the balance and shuttle I would say more challenging because there was more weight there's a lot more weight in a tennis ball Ooh. off the ceiling that was on purpose right you did that to show our fans our, yeah. our yeah. many millions of subscribers yeah that even if you hit the little ceiling you can easily recover Folks, everything you're seeing is 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 rehearsed. There, are, there are no unpolished <laughs> skills or, or mistakes here. Here we go. Again, a couple more passes, and again, you can increase the distance on this one. Good to go. Okay, back inside. Okay, so now we're gonna shift our grip to the back, so our backhand grip. Here we go. Nice, easy passing. No, you could potentially add a step if you wanted to. Really up to you. Nice, easy distance. We're kind of at our age six to eight distance here. And again, you can increase the pace. You could time this. You could have the kids, how many passes can they do in 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds and go from there. All right. So let's work on our passing now with the bounce. You'll notice the back end is a, a lot harder, especially when oh. you get a bad pass like that. <laughs> here we go. Now we've changed our grip a little bit. The thumb is no longer in the back because we need to have our racket facing more upwards than forward. Okay, are you ready to do it without, without a bounce? Yeah? Yep, I'm Here ready. Without a bounce. Again, if this doesn't work, that's fine. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, or add a bounce. Here we go. Okay, so obviously we're developing our hand-eye here, having some fun. We have a TV over here that we're hoping not to hit. We only hit that TV, what, two or three times a day? So pretty yeah. good which is why I never buy a really high-end TV in the basement. Okay, passing's looking good. We're gonna move on to some shooting. Shooting. We've got our secondary net. Now this studio was especially designed for playing sports and for playing sports like hockey and, and now whatever we call this hybrid of badminton and, and, and hockey. Um, so we've got this net here set up for your viewing pleasures. Tristan, show us a nice, easy, basic yeah. um, shot you would have at a, so, at a younger age. Yeah, three to five, just be little, like not Good, so keep that wrist laid fast. back. Longer hitting path, there we go, yeah. second shot. See that longer hitting path, very Ooh. good. Very nice, it's got a nice follow through towards his target. And as he gets more comfortable, or if you're just a more experienced, uh, a, an older kid, a more experienced athlete, then you're gonna start to really accelerate, okay? Now what you can see what this demonstrates, what this really starts to simulate is the forehand high serve in badminton. Okay, the forehand high serve, and for the more compact, kind of snapshot type shots, it's gonna simulate like a net shot, faking a net shot, flicking cross quarter or down the line. So we're starting to develop some skills and the kids may not necessarily know that, 
They're just having fun. Do not tell the kids you're working. Tell them you're just playing. Bar down, did you call it? You yep. did not call it. All right, moving on to the backhand side, much more difficult now. Again, you can have your thumb a little bit more towards the back. Good. And again, so now you can see there's not a lot of opportunity for Tristan to transfer with his hips. It's really generating a lot from his form. So we're building the form muscles, we're getting stronger. Again, tennis balls, we're using some kind of slightly depressurized tennis balls, uh, just so we don't damage the basement as much. We have uh, made a lot of damage up to this point, so we've learned our lesson. You can use a regular tennis ball. If you don't have any balls, use your dog's toy. I don't know, maybe just not the hard rubber. Um, you or, could or your cat's toy. Do the cat's toy. I'm allergic to cats, no. Um, you could use shuttles for a lot of the drills we're doing, but we don't want to assume that you, you have shuttles, so everyone should have balls. Shot, here we go. Yeah, Legs, and the most, no. this is the most advanced. You go. Eh, not enough pace. Okay. All right, shall we move on to... And what? the rack is broken. Should we move on to uh, some deking? Sure, what some do deking. Do you want to use cones or should we use something else for... Or some... Paper towels? <laughs> Paper towels. You weren't, you weren't sure what that was called, were you? Um, you could, um, if you don't have cones at home, you could use toilet paper because uh, we know you have toilet paper. Uh, hopefully you're not that person that has gone to Costco and bought six packages. We're going to use some paper towels here because we are innovators. In the Kadoo basement, we are innovators, plus we've got a little more height. All right, so Tristan's gonna start. I will attempt to hey. follow him. Some simple deking. Then then you take the shot on the net that you set up previously. So again, limited on space. So we're gonna hang out on the left side of the cones. In this case, paper towel. Couple deeks, off you go. And then we could obviously do it in different positions. Do a little circuit here. You can time your kids every time they get the ball into the net. They score a point. Oh, top shelf. Now we're going to go on the right side and finish off with a backhand shot. Nice. Again, the backhand is always more difficult, but a good skill to have for all racket sports, even for hockey. Here we go. And now we've got the most advanced one of them all. What skates? Oh. Oh. What is this? Oh. Folks, he's making this up as we go. Ah! And through the legs. Excellent. Hey, hey, hey. Celebration. Finish it, finish it. Very well done. Okay, excellent. Um, that was good. So again, no, not, we didn't, hopefully, ho hopefully we did not bore you to death. Uh, we got a chance to work on some, some passing from both forehand side, backhand side, some shooting, uh, some deking, and again, the idea is to just build those general skills. Obviously, as a badminton player, we are going to build the specific badminton skills, but you will also get to build towards other sports like tennis and, and, and hockey. And, and just the main thing is we're having fun. Really encourage the parents to, to do this with your kids initially to show them. Now, if they're older, they probably don't want you to, to, to do much with them. Initially, they'll say, I'll do it myself. But if they're younger, definitely do it with them. And let's, let's make this a fun, uh, a creative game. Thank you very much for your attention. There's more videos to come.